table fans. Woo! This is my jazz She's hands. not gonna I'm do so it jazz. this time. <laughs> there I, go. I was going for like an understatement, but it was like, you know? Yeah. The so she, excited. Um, yeah, you may not know this, but Alora's major is interpretive dance. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. We can get but something I mean, I can't going show right now. now because, right. like, then they won't want to come to my shows. How would you, uh, in dance, express ambivalence? Ambivalence. <laughs> you, would, like, you would like you. Would, just like singing <laughs> oh my gosh! You're actually doing it. This is fantastic. You're welcome. Anything I come up with. Uh, that's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> no. I'm your puppet, I guess. <laughs> that's awesome. Dance, monkey. Ugh. Dance, feet. Yes. <laughs> there you go. All right, fantastic. Love the mustache shirt, by well, the thank way. Thank you for my hair. You're talking about me like, oh. Did you say your mother got that for you? No, I actually made this. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your Putting mo my shirt. Putting skills to work. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Two years at BTP have really paid <laughs> off for you. This is what the payoff is. All right, well, enough jib jab. Let's take a look at these awesome models that you got to paint, which is the great thing about this job, right? Yes, it is. Creativity, paint, models. Never a dull moment. Nope. Okay, so first off, we have a, uh, a fell blade, which is this giant uh, Adeptus Mechanicus Monster. tank. Well, and we've done, we've done this uh, Iron Hands. And uh, so that's what that looks like. All the pieces for resin. It, I'm surprised how well this like moves. Uh, any co what, what colors did you use for just for example on these like brassy so areas? So it's like it's the darkest we have tinny tin and then highlighted with gold, which I felt like made it really stand out instead of just like mm -hmm. you know making it all blended together. It makes it kind of like pop a little bit more. And it's just, it's a lot of metal. It's a ton. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of metallics yes, on there. it is. For sure, some freehand little uh, has mm -hmm. stripes there. Super so fun. Uh, looking good. And uh, this is a Derrideo Dreadnought. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that. Any comments on this guy? Um, yeah, he's a level three. He's a lot of metal too, fun to paint. I actually really like metal, apparently. So. Could you say that and throw up the devil horns at the same time? The devil horns, you mean like this? Uh, I no. love metal. Apparently. Like this. Go. Uh, I love metal. I love metal. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> like a chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Well, uh, I, I'm loving it. I like the little bit of red that you've thrown in there. I think that really makes them stand mm -hmm. out. And uh, for those of you watching, this model is really, really, really good in the game. It's just ridiculous because if it stands still, you can get Skyfire and Interceptor. Interceptor means if uh, flyers come on, he gets like a free shot at him. And uh, that's just, it's just amazing. Now, this is by a company from Poland, I think it is. I just wish I could remember. So, somebody in the comments will say who this is from, but this is uh, our stand-in for uh, Per Turabo, which is uh, one, of the, one of the Primarchs. So good job on that. And uh, the next is a uh, Krios Venator. Uh, and I believe the root there is uh, hunter, uh, is what that word means. And so this is for Adeptus Mechanicus. They're a new army that's out. They're getting a lot of plastics. They've got a rule book for them. And then Forge World has like a ton of really cool stuff uh, that they've already put out for Adeptus Mechanicus. You can see like this guy kind of like, the pilot is kind of like, you know, hardwired in there. Any comments on this kit, Alora? Um, I love doing the red and the gold. I think they look great together. So it was fun. All right, and then uh, some uh, battle automata, uh, automatons, robots. And uh, quite frankly, I like these better than the plastics, just if for no other reason than the heads. And uh, again, Alora has done a great job with the, um, with the red here. Red's, red's very difficult to pull off. Uh, can you tell us the different steps you used in the red? So I did armor here? the um, kind of like the whole red primer, and then I did more whole red, and then carmine, and just kind of blended it in and did it up, and then a, a slight edging in orange. Okay, great. Well, it looks really super. Now, when she says um, the uh, that it's been primed red, that's yes. actually a rust color, yes, and you, ac you actually really don't even see very much of it on the model. Yeah, just there. kind of underneath a little and bit. And that's actually on top of the black. So it's got black, rust, and then 
um, hull red, H U L L, mm -hmm. like the hull of a ship. Yes. Some people think it means whole red. A whole red. <laughs> like, you know, if you get stabbed, you now have a whole red that's red. Uh. So. Anyway, and uh, maybe on the video these are showing up as really bright. Let me turn the light off so you can just kind of get an idea of, you know, th th there's not so much real reflectivity. Okay, well, Laura, it's great having you in. Your work is really awesome. Well, you have such you. a great attitude, and I, I feel very fortunate to have you here at BTV. I'm fortunate to be here. Awesome. Hey, uh, any personal notes, things going personal on in Alora land? Hmm. Well, I went on a date last night, and we hit glow-in-the-dark golf balls into the lake, so I am very eco-friendly, apparently. So, there's a personal note. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> okay, fantastic. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Laura. Yep. And uh, if you want to get a project done, contact projects at bluetablepainting.com. We're ready to go.